During the process of cellular respiration, a very important molecule is produced in your body, carbon dioxide. Did you know that in the process of respiration without the proper participation of your carbon dioxide cells can lack oxygen? How does it work? By taking a breath in, you draw air with oxygen into your lungs. Oxygen molecules travel to the alveoli of the lungs and then into the arterial blood. Blood oxygenation is precisely the process in which oxygen molecules attach in the blood to the red blood cells and to hemoglobin. Saturation on a pulse oximeter mainly indicates the percentage oxygenation in red blood cells and hemoglobin. But how do you consciously use your carbon dioxide for the efficient transport of oxygen from the blood to the body cells during breathing? Here, in the part of the brainstem and the medulla oblongata, is your central respiratory center. It is the command center of your respiratory system, which monitors changes in the CO2, O2, pH levels in the blood. In 1904, Christian Bohr, a renowned scientist in physiology, discovered the breakthrough phenomenon known as the Bohr effect. The Bohr effect is the process by which your carbon dioxide releases oxygen from red blood cells and hemoglobin into the body's cells. This is an essential process. It helps you transport oxygen more efficiently and deliver it to your body's cells. Did you know that by consciously practicing simple and effective nasal breathing exercises, you can influence your body to adapt to CO2 gradually. You consciously influence the central respiratory center to learn tolerance to CO2. This will support the proper functioning of the respiratory system every day. Respiration is a dance of exchange between oxygen and carbon dioxide. The relationship between these two molecules creates a physiological breathing harmony. If you breathe quickly, loudly, heavily, with your mouth, not rhythmically and mainly with your upper chest, then you exhale of your lungs too much CO2, which may not be enough to release oxygen. Remember the Bohr effect phenomenon? CO2 has another very important role. It increases cerebral blood flow and dilates blood vessels, thus facilitating oxygenation of the brain. But you can change that and make a conscious choice for better breathing quality. The nose is the guardian for your respiratory system by filtering the air and promoting the flow of oxygenated blood, which has a positive effect on brain oxygenation deep and healthy sleep, tranquility, peace, relaxation, energy, vitality, mindfulness and self-curiosity is a conscious way to begin to observe, feel and influence the way the quality of your breath that is live. Check out more at my website.